Hello, my name is Christy Cosina, and I'm going to teach you how to insert and manipulate text uh, in Adobe Captivate 8. Uh, this is the screen that uh, appears right after you've created a blank template or blank project. Uh, so you'll get uh, this you know, plain gray, uh, white and black screen here uh, with uh, uh, some title text placeholders and text uh, objects and uh, and just you know, essentially a template placeholders. So you can choose to edit and manipulate these if you choose, or you can you know uh, add slides and uh, change the uh, the themes and add backgrounds if you choose. So if you wanted to start uh, editing, you know what you have right here, then you just double click on any of these objects and uh, just start uh, editing. So let's see if we can. Uh, Type how to uh, let's see how to make a sandwich, and so right now it's just gray. But if you want to change the color to a different color, maybe blue, you have to click out of that uh, placeholder box and click back in there, or you can double click and highlight the entire uh, text, and then you'll be able to change the color to something like. Um, well, the th this is the uh, uh, swatch that I guess appears right when you open it up. But if you want to change it to maybe more something more colorful, you've got uh, this color rainbow swatch right here, and so maybe we can change it to a blue, and so you can see that it changed it to a blue color. Um, if you want to uh, change the uh, character font type, uh, you can just you know click right here and then. Uh, maybe change it to Verdana, and then say you want to have a bold, you can click here and uh, click on bold. Uh, you can change the size over here and let's see, maybe make it 48. Uh, let's see, and go over here and make it centered. And then you want to drag this down if you want to make the, uh, the shadow, you know, make, kind of make it stand out a little bit more. Uh, you can even change the direction of the shadow, uh, but I usually like to just stick with uh, the standard that you know pops up as you know down and to the right. Uh, if you want any, any more advanced features, you can click on this effects uh, drop down right here, and then there's some standard text ones that show up. Uh, you know, like this is one that I've used in the Captivate course, and it kind of just you know makes it pop a little bit more. Uh, so you've got different colors uh, they're standard or, or you can make your own like this one right here is one that I've made uh, for this course uh, and then you can even edit uh, the text effects and add uh, pretty much basically made it make it your own um, you know adding a drop shadow you know click here to check on the drop shadow add an inner shadow if you choose and you know bevel kind of make it you know just more 3d I guess <laughs> Uh, you can save that, or I, you know, I don't. I could probably cancel that. Cause I, I would want to a little bit more uh, to how the lesson will, you know, look. I guess in the end. But um, so there's uh, the template that you can edit, or if you want to edit your or insert your own text. Uh, let's say we can go over here to the text box, and you're going to insert a text caption, and a text caption will pop up in the middle here and then you can start editing uh, I'll just say how to make a sandwich and so it's got most of the same properties over here but as you notice that there wasn't a text effect uh, tab right here and that's just how some of these uh, features are is they'll you know be more beneficial you know for certain ideas and in some uh, features won't have those, you know, those uh, uh, various features. So this one is just a pretty standard uh, text caption. So you can just you can change the colors, uh, you know, center it, and it's pretty much just check, just text. So let's say we'll delete that. And there's another way to add text, which uh, is the way that I like to add text which is by adding a shape and you can add a rectangle or a rounded rectangle and 
in the rounded rectangle is kind of make nice buttons, but uh, we'll just do a rectangle. Let's see, and then you'll have to draw it on there. You can drag and drop kind of the size that you want. Let's say we'll make it like this big. And it'll take a second to make, and so it'll start off with, you know, kind of like a gradient. And you can double click in there to add text. So, so how to make a sandwich. And we'll click out of that, click back in, and I'm going to change the gradient to, let's see, the gradient, we'll do gradient. And then we'll do fill, and I've had, you know, there's some preset uh, gradient fills here on the top, or you can, uh, you know, make your own, and I've got several down here that I've made where you just kind of, you know, add in, like, various different uh, uh, colors here, and then you can change the color, you know. Like white, if I want, I can change that to blue. Uh, I could change that one to maybe like a darker blue. And so, yeah, you can you can kind of make your own. Uh, like I have a nice blue one right here, and it looks like I'll need to change the color of this text box. And so let's make it kind of like a white so that it stands out a bit more. And I don't know if you saw that, but if I clicked out of that and back in, uh, the effects tab is shows up here. So if I double click in it, it disappears. So I'm not sure why it does that, but uh, on a number of occasions, it's, you know, uh, I've questioned that. So I've, <laughs> I, I've learned that, yeah, just click, click out of the box, click back in, uh, and then it, it's there. So, um, if you want, you can, uh, what I've taught you before is to, you know, you can change it if you want to. I, I like Arial. Uh, we can do it bold. Or you can do it uh, black, like black's a little bit thicker for a title, and then change the size to something that's bigger. Uh, you can kind of drag this out to make the box a little bit bigger. <clears throat> uh, let's see. We want uh, what I typically like to do for text boxes. I'll uh, I'll use this effects tab right here, and I have the standard uh, one that I made, and it kind of has an outline uh, that makes the uh, white text kind of just more distinct. So uh, yeah, just you can play around with it uh, uh, and make it look like how you however you want for the most part. Um, and also, what I like about these uh, text uh, these smart shapes is that you can use them as buttons. So, um, if you want, like, I'll just click it here, but I'll, I'll show you more fully uh, in a, a next uh, video. But you can make a a button by using smart shapes, and then uh, you know change the action to set, to have it go to the next slide or to a specific slide. And so um, that's why I like smart shapes because uh, you can use them as text boxes or uh, as a button. So there's that. Uh, so those were the three uh, main ways that I, you know, make text. So uh, you can, you know, create a slide and uh, just manipulate the, the placeholders. So that's one way to do it. Um, or you can add a, like a text caption through this way or add a shape and then double click and enter the, into the shape and edit the text that way. So um, I guess that's it for text. So I'll, I'll see you next time. All right, bye.